It is October 25th and I'm out with the John Brown Charter and they're highly excited because here it is John's got on a big redfish that wife Linda passed on to him. The fish is barely hooked as I hoist it aboard the boat. And of course the fish gets passed to everybody on the boat so they can get their picture with the big red. Here we are, we're no sooner out there, and I pass off a rod that has a huge fish on it that I just stuck. And all of a sudden, we lose them. But never fear, there's Bobby again, hooked up to something that we can't even stop. It's spooling that little tiny spinning reel. All of this would have been much better if it was my Shimano Corrado and my ugly stick. But... Of course, we're using the spinning gear here, and whatever we got hooked up, it runs, and then it comes right back to the boat. I'm sure Bobby is really uh, kind of shocked at this moment. You're not in Kansas anymore. He's working this fish as best he can. It's a tarpon! We've got a tarpon on a jig head and a shrimp. <laughs> it just jumped. Oh, yeah. It doesn't even know it's hooked. By now, we've pulled the anchor and we're giving chase because the thing uh, pretty much spooled that little spinning reel. And Bobby sat up on the bow the whole time just hanging on for dear life. We avoided navigational buoys and everything else, and the fish took us deep into the river where it was 60, 70, 80 feet deep holes, and now up against the jetty rocks, and this was the problem. All right. There's what happened. That was only a 20-pound mono leader. That's only 20-pound suffix braid. And he got us down in the rocks somehow. That, that tarpon was the smartest tarpon I've seen in a long time. My legs are shaking and uh, I went for a Jacksonville sleigh ride. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Let's go back and catch something smaller. How about that? Yeah, we caught fish from the minute we got out there to the minute we left. And then here's some that we just kept for a fish fry. Various species.